What's up, everybody? Got another day in life video coming to you. So uh, today's a little bit of a busy day. We're in the midst of the holiday season right now, and I am in the retail business aside from being in the training business. I run a clothing line. And so um, uh, been handling orders, been handling marketing, and doing that all morning, kind of ripping my hair out, trying to figure out Facebook pixels. But uh, aside from that, everything's going good. Um, I feel really good today. Uh, I am in the midst of my show prep. I believe I'm going to be doing the January 30th show in Las Vegas. And if I do not do that one, I'll be doing the February 13th show in Redondo Beach, competing in the NPC Classic Physique Division. Right now, I'm leaning out pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I feel really good. Um, I've been eating around 200 grams of fat a day, probably close to 80 to 100 grams of protein, and less than 50 carbs a day. I've had a couple of high carb days um, just to fill out and uh, protect my thyroid hormone, but things have been really good. I've been experimenting with some exogenous ketones. I am going to do a video on this. Um, just to let you know, they've been working absolutely great. Uh, my energy's been through the roof. Um, they actually allowed me to eat uh, a little bit less calories on a few days, which I think has contributed to some of my conditioning now. Um, and for those of you who are interested in learning a little bit more about it, these particularly would be for those of you who want to try to get into ketosis but are too scared of a very low carbohydrate, high fat diet. Um, the purpose of eating exogenous ketones would be to get those ketones into your bloodstream, um, get you some fuel from an alternative source besides glycogen, and, and you know you lower your carbohydrates a little bit, but not necessarily to the point where you get into ketosis naturally. Uh, and then you would um, experience all of the brain benefits and all the energy and all the ATP and the fat burning benefits of ketosis um, while just lessening your calories without throwing off your normal macronutrient ratio too much and I'll explain more about that in another video in a blog. So uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a lunch in a second. Not really lunch. I'm just going to have some bone broth. I'm going to eat a bigger lunch later on. But um, right now I'm actually pretty smooth. I'm lean but I'm smooth and this messes with a lot of you guys because you sit at home and you're like, oh man, I wish I had all those cuts that that guy had or anything like that and the thing is you don't realize that a lot of these guys they peak they peak for the shows and so right now like i'll take i'll let you guys take a look at me real quick let me see pull back all right so that's me right now all right and then like working on my vacuum but uh if I flex, things start to look better. And the more I flex, the more I flex, the better I look. But the thing is, you, you can see here, I'm actually pretty damn smooth. And so this messes with a lot of people because they think, oh man, I'm not getting into shape. The fact of the matter is, it's all water, guys. And so, yeah, I'm retaining water right now. I'm smooth, but I don't care. I'm not stepping on stage today. When I will care is the day of the show. And I got a process for that. It's called dehydration. It's not healthy. None of you should try it. But um, that's what guys do to get in shape for the shows, and that's what guys do to peak. Um, what I got over here is I've been cooking bone broth um, for quite a while. So this has been cooking for about three days. It's... Uh, grass-fed organic beef bone broth and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have a cup of this it's got it's full of amino acids it's got some good fat in it i'm also going to add a little bit of grass-fed butter to it and melt it in there and i just sip on that helps me with hunger helps my gut issues really good for ulcerative colitis i had an omelet this morning um with about four eggs and uh it's about mid-morning right now um a little bit later on, I'm going to have some salmon and avocado and things like that. But like I said, I try to keep the eating to a minimum during the day. I do eat. I don't starve myself. But uh, work for me is a lot more important right now than, um, than just eating all day. But I did get a beard um, kit today. And I want to show you guys this. Uh, I've been getting a lot of dandruff in my beard. And it's been killing me. 
it's been killing me. So I contacted my friends over at Maestro's Classic. And um, I've got a few friends over there. Demo Perez, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. And um, he went down and he uh, was with me at Olympia in Vegas. He's got a fantastic beard. And so I had to shave my beard off because of it was getting so dandruffy and my skin was getting all chafed. And I started looking like Freddy Krueger under here. But they sent me this awesome package. They sent me a t-shirt. Maestro's Classic. And then they sent me beard wash. And it smells freaking amazing. And beard butter uh, to condition my beard. And so this is going to keep me hydrated. It's going to keep my face from um, from flaking out or anything like that and i'll let you guys know how that works but for now i'm gonna have some bone broth with some butter in it there that is a cup of beef bone broth with some Kerrygold irish butter today is a pretty busy day i'm gonna get in and i'm gonna do a back work workout tonight for you guys um i'm not gonna be eating a whole lot today uh i've got too much business work on my plate um, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of smoked salmon and some uh, avocado later on. Um, I'm gonna be shooting some private video for my mastermind training group in a little bit. Um, but uh, other than that, I'll just try to make this as interesting as, po as possible for you. I'm pretty boring. I just sit around here all day, flex. No, I don't flex. Um, I uh, sit around here all day. I keep it pretty cold in here, uh, especially when I'm trying to burn fat. Uh, capitalize on that brown adipose tissue um, and uh, just doing work and being productive guys uh, that's what it's about when you are in business you can't let any minute go by without you having accomplished something and I know a lot of you out there are trying to make your dreams come true trying to bring things about for yourselves and the key there is work 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 uh, it's more than just going to the gym it's more than just Friggin' acting like you're a badass, you actually have to pay price to action. Sit your ass down or stand your ass up at a counter and put the work in to make your dreams come true because um, it's really about what you're willing to put into it. Um, and a lot of times it might be a long time before anything comes about, before you get any um, fruits of your labor, but at the end of the day, when you are able to work for yourself and you're able to do things uh, without and be creative without a boss looking over your shoulder there's nothing that beats that there is nothing that beats that in the world and i wouldn't trade this life for the world i wouldn't trade it for all the riches in the world wouldn't trade it for a six-figure salary any fucking car any fucking bullshit piece of clothing uh, i'll sit around here naked all day as much as i need to so let's get it going <laughs> Got some smoked salmon here and some avocado. I'm gonna eat this up real quick and keep working. Um, it's kind of my desk setup. I got my vape here, uh, glass water bottle, coffee mug, protein cup, other coffee mug for my bone broth. So I gotta clean up in here. It's a little bit messy, but that's my um, my mantra: expect nothing and appreciate everything. I have a giant zit on my head and I like popping zits but that one will not pop just got back in from a uh, walking piper outside I'm just chilling here waiting for Sean to get home and we're gonna go to the gym and then have food lots of food because I didn't eat much today so I could probably eat a little bit more than I usually would <laughs> Favorite Christmas song. Pre workout music.